Today, we're going to be solving a problem that asks us to calculate the flow rate in a triangular or V-shaped channel. The question reads, water is flowing through a triangular or V-shaped channel. The flow in the channel is measured as six feet wide and the depth of the flow is two feet deep. The velocity of the flow is 1.5 feet per second. Calculate the flow rate and report the results in gallons per minute. Before we get started, let's talk for a minute about the physical problem that we are solving. Here is a cross section of the channel with the dimensions labeled. We can see here that the width of the flow is six feet and the depth of the flow in the channel is two feet. We can also see from the side view that the velocity of the flow is one and a half feet per second. A very common application for this type of channel are swales or small drainage ditches on the sides of roads or between houses all flow rate type problems like this one utilize the same formula for calculating flow rate. The formula is Q, which is the symbol for flow rate, is equal to the velocity of the flow multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the channel shape. In this case, it's a triangle. You will also need the formula for the area of the shape of the channel. Here we have that the formula for the area of a triangle is one half multiplied by the height of the triangle multiplied by the width of the triangle. The very first step we want to take in solving the problem is to list out all of the knowns and unknowns given in the problem statement. For this problem, we've been given that the width of the flow in the channel is six feet. The depth of the flow or height of the flow is two feet and the velocity is one and a half feet per second. The unknown is the flow rate. Let's pause for a second and talk about units. All of the known values in this problem contain the unit of feet. It's important to note that all the known values must be in a common unit of measure, like feet, before you can use the formula. If we have been given known values in other units, such as inches or meters, we would need to convert them to the same units before we could continue. For instance, if the problem had given us the depth of flow in inches, we would need to convert it into feet you must make sure that the units are consistent before proceeding with solving the problem. We are now ready to calculate the answer. The flow rate is equal to the velocity multiplied by the cross-sectional area. The area of a triangle is given by the formula 1 half multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. The resulting calculation is the velocity multiplied by 1 half multiplied by the width of the channel multiplied by the depth or height of the flow in the channel. Therefore, the flow rate is equal to one and a half feet per second times one half times six feet times two feet, which is nine cubic feet per second. The last step to complete the problem is to convert the result that we have from cubic feet per second to gallons per minute. You can accomplish this by taking the result that we just calculated, nine cubic feet per second, and multiplying it by 60 seconds per minute and further multiplying it by 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. The units of seconds will cancel out, the units of cubic feet will cancel out, and the final result is in gallons per minute. The final result for this problem is that the flow rate through the channel is 4,039.2 gallons per minute. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or feedback, please comment below. If you have found this video helpful, please like it and consider subscribing to the channel so that you get access to all future videos.